I heard about this elderly couple. They had been married for over 60 years. One day at a church conference, somebody asked them the secret of their success. The man told him how he always treated his wife with kindness and how he took her on trips all around the world. He said, in fact, on our 25th wedding anniversary, I took her to Beijing, China. Everyone politely applauded. Then someone asked, what did you do for your 50th wedding anniversary? He said, I went and picked her back up. You're welcome. So today I'm gonna to take you around and show you our outlets, our switches, and our lights. We don't have any light fixtures yet, but we do have the bulbs just hanging on the ceilings. So we are gonna shop around, get some light fixtures, stuff like that, but I'll show you what we have done for the wiring. We're also gonna run the cable cord for the satellite TV. We're gonna run it through the wall today, and then I'm just gonna go around and do a very tedious job, which I've started and it just seems like it takes forever, but I'm gonna go around and pull all the little nails out of the wall from ripping the hemlock boards out. So there's a bunch of nails and it's probably gonna take forever. I've started on one wall and I'm gonna keep at it and get them all done so that way they're ready for the drywall, which we're gonna have delivered later today or tomorrow, but we gotta get all the walls prepped and ready for it before we just start putting it on so yeah let's have a look at the the wiring we have so starting behind me in the great room which is eventually going to become the living room and then dining room over on this side we have one light up at the top of the cathedral we're also going to run some beams because the ceiling's already done obviously before we did any of the wiring so we're going to run some beam beams and that'll cover the wiring it'll clean up everything here on the ceiling then we put a bunch of outlets on the walls on all three walls Behind me, there's a whole bunch of outlets. So we have plenty of them for anything that we need them for. Again, in the dining room, I'm probably gonna have like my coffee machine and stuff over here by the dining room table, just set it up nicely and with just lots and lots of plugs, which is great. So moving into the kitchen, we have the light at the top here. You may notice some of the ceiling boards look like they're possibly popping out. That's because Jeremy's friend who was here helping us doing the wiring just about came through the ceiling a couple times in the kitchen here. So we're just gonna have to push those boards back up get it all fixed up. So yeah, we got the one light. We got our switches over at the main door for the lights here. And then we just ran a couple of outlets over by the sink. We're gonna have, we're gonna have the fridge and the oven over on this wall. So we didn't really need any outlets on that wall. We got, we got a couple on the wall behind me where the window is. The countertop will run all along where the sink is. That sink's actually gonna be moved, shuffled a little bit. We're gonna run the countertop all along there, removing that window and everything, but we'll get into that another time because there's lots of things that'll be happening in the kitchen when we get to here. So behind me here in the bathroom, we have again the regular light, the switch here at the front door, and an outlet right by the sink for any charging needs. We also have the hookups for my washer and dryer, which is really awesome. We're not gonna be getting an actual washer and dryer for a few more months, but it's all ready. It's piped, wired in, and ready to go when we do get to the bathroom. In each bedroom, we have three outlets on the walls. We have this heater fan here, and we have one light per bedroom at the, on the ceiling. And the heater fans, they're just strictly as a backup for if you know the bedroom doors are closed on the really cold nights and we need just that extra little bit of heat. So we just thought since we're doing the wiring, we'll put them in in case we end up needing them. Now I'm gonna head back into the great room and I'm gonna continue pulling all the nails out of the walls and prepping them for the drywall. What an absolutely tedious, brutal job. <laughs> I'm getting there. It is just a very stinking long process. There's so many, so many nails. Doing this and taking breaks to homeschool in between. What a job. What a job. You forget about all the work it's going to be when you start ripping down wood from your walls, but it's going to look so good when it's done. It's going to be so worth it. Where do you want to be? Because the first hole is going to be done over here, right here. That one. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay, Unless right. Unless we can fit it under and then go, this is your first one, but I don't know. No, I know what you're saying. Yeah, and it actually comes out from that stud anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's best to go, yeah, right there, right there. Right. So do you need your, your knife? Yeah. I just had your knife because I was using it. 
to cut vapor fairy. Oh, the kitchen vapor fairy. Where is the dang knife? <laughs> You're not. Bud. Should I pass that to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the knife? Jack knife? Yeah, that's what I was using. It'll cut it nice. No utility I knife? I don't know. Maybe outside. We can probably do that. Probably a rip right there, in there. Oh, my landscape slide. Ah. Save that tape. Don't go oh, wasting. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can't quite get there. Oh, you can at least cut through one less thing. Oh, okay. No, well, you just go here, right? Right above it? Yeah. Oops, almost fell. I got a lot you of got, nails to remove and a lot of t Tyvek to uh, wrap up. You no, got the bear with this knife? Uh -huh. Cut your Tyvek? Or not your Tyvek, your... Whatever it is. Paper barrier? Paper, yeah. I can cut on this A lot side. of people Oops. in other climates, uh, we used to get comments about the paper barrier folks. Wonder why we did it, saying they think it would mold. Mm. But up here in this climate, you need paper barrier. It would be the opposite would happen to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe yeah. a pair of gloves I should get. So don't scratch, touch the insulation and scratch my eyes. Mm -hmm. Or your butt. <coughs> my butt, yeah. <laughs> Dig my butthole. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Freak. What? Your butt. <laughs> That would be really unfortunate. Oh yeah, BFG. I'd put a damper on the day, I think. <laughs> we got one glove. The house is in shambles at the moment. Okay, I'll just push it in with one glove. Trying to avoid. How's that one now? Is that better? Probably, hey. Yeah, Still that's fits. perfect now. All right. Cool. Yeah, that's perfect size because you got to put one in first. Yeah. Then the other one. Got them all through? Yep. Oh, good. Oh, what's that? Oh, bunch of seeds. <laughs> nice. Be sure to tape that back up good. What? We'll be sure to tape it all back up good. Good. Nice living in there. Frig. Holy frig, it scared me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened? I saw my flap. <laughs> Like That's awesome. The, what is it? The elephant scared of the mouse? I don't know. <laughs> the manliest man, and then he's scared of a mouse. Manly, yeah. Jumps off a ladder. Oh, I'm scared. Now. Stupid. <laughs> Guess I'll be up there drilling. He can hunt a bear, but he wants nothing to do with a teeny meeny mouse. <laughs> Frig, that's bad. Hmm. <laughs> Tell a bear to get off the deck of my underwear. Yeah, that too, actually. Don't. You, but those mice in the concrete out there, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe it's because where I'm at. It's in my house. Yeah. Or I'm an idiot. I got problems. Mm -hmm. Emotionally scarred, PTSD from mice. Mouse, mouse must have did something. Camera was supposed to be on for that. <laughs> All right, so I've got this back wall and then the front wall where the patio doors are out to the deck all prepped and ready for drywall. So we ran the 
cable cord right here for the TV. We need to go buy a little bit more cord to finish running it down this wall and over to that wall where the TV is going. But we have the rest of it all run along the top here and then it's taped and I've gone around with this and I've removed all of the nails from the hemlock. So this whole wall and that back wall are all completely done and ready. Like I said, I taped up all along the bottom where the outlets are with the tuck tape. And then, yeah, again, all nails are removed. So we're ready for the drywall, which just happened to have been delivered earlier today. So here's the drywall. Yeah. It's exciting. It is. Love that it's here. I know, right? Yeah. So it's been a busy couple days. Mm -hmm. Lots happening. Oh, yeah. Right here. Had to get it all wired and prepped before we put the drywall up. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that's awesome. Having it wired now, man, so different. It's so awesome. It's throwing me off because I'm going to go in, just say the bathroom, for example, and I'm looking for the little switch to the lamp we had in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's cool. We always had it on a battery. Yeah. And everything. Or not a battery, like a power pack. Yeah. And everything feels so much bigger because we don't have extension cords running all over the floor and stuff. And we moved the whole gym out and moved it into the garage, set it up there. So. It just feels so big in here. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's been busy. Yep. And it's just about to get busier as we hang drywall. Is that Man. the word? Do you say hang? You hang drywall? Hang, yeah. Yeah. Sounds right. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. I haven't hung drywall in 15 years. I haven't hung drywall in my entire 34 years of life, so. <laughs> and my, uh, and even then I didn't drink a, hang a whole pile. No. A couple of houses, that's it. We yeah. always framed it. I remember we framed and roofed and stuff like that lots but the usually drywall or drywall <clears> not, <throat> not the carpenters <laughs> but i remember a couple jobs they weren't there but so the carpenters did it nowadays in that maplebury farm we're the builders we're the carpenters we're the drywallers we're the roofers we're everything yeah, right <laughs> so that's cool that's pretty sweet got her here 16 sheets all we're gonna need for that gonna have to get a few more when we do uh, the kitchen and yeah. other parts, but or the, just couple, just one wall in the kitchen. Yeah, it's only about four. Got lots to do. Oh yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get at it. So. Yeah. So stop by next time for some drywall. Yeah. It's man, that's gonna probably be cool to see how that turns out. It's gonna change this room. Yeah. It's gonna be really neat. See how that goes, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you. See you in the next one.